Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you stopped by. I will see you want to know how I made $100 an hour today. If you really want to know the details, hang around for just a second and I'll show you. I'll see you inside. All right, everybody, welcome in. Uh, this is uh, where the $100 an hour will be made. You wonder how? Let's come on over here and sit down and see what we can find out. Turn this around. All right. So if you hadn't guessed by now, I'm sure a lot of my current viewers that have uh, been subscribed to the channel for a, a good bit of time now know that uh, I buy and sell things on eBay, Amazon, Facebook Marketplace, etc. And today, so far I've worked about 20 minutes on this and uh, I'll probably need to put in another 30, which would be 50. So we're just gonna round up to an hour and I've, got, I've made more than $100. Um, and we'll walk through and uh, show you why. I'm gonna go ahead and talk through about this, but I've also got a clip after this of, that I took right after I got out of the store where I bought this. Um, so the whole idea is we buy things at uh, yard sales, estate sales, thrift stores, etc., as cheap as we can and sell them on eBay. HP Inc. Don't don't pass it by. Three ninety nine sells for about ninety. This is an interesting Polaroid camera. Not sure how much it'll go for. It was only two ninety nine. Disney mug ninety nine cents. Probably can get you know fifteen dollars or so. Twelve twelve to fifteen shipped probably. Not big money, but it's Disney. HP calculator, broken screen. Uh, you wonder why I bought it with a broken screen? Keep on watching, it'll be in the video a little bit later. $3.99, probably $35 minimum. Uh, it's a, a wireless mic uh, receiver, $3.99. Not sure of the value yet. We could have made $125 an hour, $150 an hour. I've yet to work an hour, and I'm not sure what this is. This could put us way over. Last item. Actually, I've got a couple more that I didn't even talk about in the other footage. Uh, Sony mini cassette recorder. $299. That's at least $20. What do I do with that other bag? Did I leave it outside? Be right back. All right, here's the last two items. I left them in the car. And I, I'd almost sworn off of these, but it was hard to pass these up. They are really long tail. Uh, so I really don't want to add them into this, but they're from uh, 1956 and 1958. It is a yearbook, annual, whatever you want to call it, from uh, Georgia Institute of Technology. Really cool looking yearbook. Um, they were $1.50 each. This one's kind of cool. It's got a different feeling cover to it, kind of padded. Got some really cool pictures in them. $1.50 each. It was hard to pass them up. Uh, most of your books will sell in the 20 plus dollar range. Um, so let me grab my laptop and we'll uh, I'm gonna go ahead and look up this uh, this Audio Technica wireless receiver and let's see what it does. Um, give me just a second, and I'll pull it over and we'll do a screen share. All right, so let's go look these things up. Let's go see what we can find out. This first item is a Audio Technica. Um, R80. 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 Tested working $29.99 plus $9.99 shipping. Let's go see what is sold. So it is a mic. Uh, a wireless mic, $110. That was probably a used one. Um, that's got a bunch of extra stuff. 34 39 I should be able to get $29.99 for it, plus shipping, I would guess. Uh, receiver, transmitter, and carrying case. So this doesn't have the transmitter. But that's okay. So... I should be able to get at least $19.99 plus shipping, maybe $29.99 plus shipping. So that's not bad. Let's check out the uh, the Sony Mini Cassette Recorder. It's a Sony 
M-570V, 570V. $29.99, $42.99. Too bad I didn't find one new in package, $299. Let's go look at Souls. $22.19, that one's free shipping. That's $24, probably $24.99 free shipping. Maybe $19.99 plus the $4.99 shipping I normally do on my first class. Uh, so that's not bad. There's a $45.99 with two, uh, $45.95 with two cassettes. Maybe I can shoot for 30, you know, 25 plus shipping. There's one with a bunch of cassettes. $24.95. Yeah, it looks like it's going like about $29.99. I'll probably go $24.95 plus the $4.99 shipping. So we'll get that listed. Uh, the, cal the calculator. HP 480GX. Get up there. HP 480GX parts. Here's the sold parts to repair 2988 plus 785 shipping. There's one working that was $47.99 with the case. Uh, 109 free shipping. It's 45. That's a lot of 3. 33. 33. 39. There's the overlay. The good thing about HP, especially calculators, is that, see there was 150 right there. The good thing about HP is it has a great following. People collect these things. Um, with it like it is with the cracked screen, let's go see if parts, let's go uh, cracked screen. No matches found. Let's see if there's anything listed, nothing found. Somebody may buy this. It, it may work. I'm going to put a battery in it and see if it works. If it, if it works and just has the cracked screen. But somebody's going to buy it because that's probably a generic screen. Um, I bet we can sell this pretty quickly. All right, let's go see if we can find the coffee mug. Authentic original Disney Park. Authentic. Uh, original Disney Parks um, Hollywood Tower Mug. Yeah, some of you might have one. Hollywood Tower, that's the exact mug. $27.99 free shipping. Exact mug. This one has a few scuffs around the bottom. It should clean up okay. Not a lot of scratch marks in the bottom. Because some people use mugs to put like pens and pencils and things like that in on their desk. Um, this one's in good shape. So we'll probably go $19.99 plus the... They use, I, I've never shipped a mug that I've been able to ship first class. I always do priority. Uh, so it's going to be a minimum of $7. So I'll probably do... Maybe $21.99 plus my $9.99 priority shipping. Um, haven't even checked on this one, the Polaroid camera. Um, I think I mentioned it in the uh, footage uh, coming up. Uh, I think this is supposed to, this may be supposed to be a white camera. It's got some yellowing look to it. We'll look it up and see if it's supposed to be white. If it is, if it is supposed to be a white camera and it's just oxidized or whatever the terminology is, I'm going to do a video on how to whiten that back up. But let's look and see. It, it maybe it it has that look, but it might supposed to be this color. Um, Polaroid. Um, Swinger. Model 20. Okay, somebody's been looking for it. $12, $18, $10, so okay. Not quite, but that does look a lot more white than what mine looks like. That Mine is looking yellowed, which is common for white plastics. So, 
based on the price, I think I may hold off on listing this one just yet. Because I want to do the video on how to take plastics. You can see it a lot on uh, game consoles sometimes. You see it on game uh, game cartridges. You see it on uh, a lot of electronics are made of, of plastic out of this, this era. Um, and we'll go through a video on how to clean those up. Because somebody would pay... If I want to get top dollar for this, it needs to be clean. It needs to not be yellowed. Um, so I think we'll do that. So be on the lookout for that. If you want to learn how to um, take the yellowing off of a plastic like this, a white plastic or a, a lighter color plastic, um, be looking for that. Um, I will get that done very soon. Hopefully I can get it done before the end of the weekend. So not not a big score there. It was only two ninety nine. And truthfully, I picked this up. I had been looking for an item that I could do that video with, and this one will be a great one. So keep an eye out for that video. All right, uh, next item. The HP LaserJet Toner. All toners have a number on them. This has C64A. You can also use this number right here. Hopefully, I'm not too close. The CC364A. Uh, let's get over here. Show you that real quick. Uh, HP laser jet can't type 64A uh, 79.9975 and that's plus $14 shipping it's the same box 134 let's look at sold um, there it is. That's the exact same box right there that I've got. Uh, $83.99 free shipping. Um, $95 best offer. $90 free shipping. Shouldn't be too bad to ship. And I know I've sold HP Toner uh, new in the box to one company. Actually, I got an email from them just recently. $57.84. I think I'm gonna go $79.99 plus $9.99 shipping. Um, there's two of them for $158. I'm willing to start high. Uh, $105 free shipping. I don't know. $104, that's not too long ago. $104 free shipping. Golly, maybe it's go $85. $119 free shipping. Let's go see how many are listed. There weren't many back up there sold item I'll take that off 417 that are up there under 75 there are 211 75 to 150 there are 139 so it's pretty well uh, let's go new I think I can sell this was new the crush box it doesn't mean that it's really open box I don't think so there's a 75, that's an $89 total. $79 total. $119, 85, 90. That's a different box. 99 free shipping. 99 free shipping. 105 plus 25. Don't know how long those have been out there. I think I'm going to go with my 79 plus 999 shipping um, and hope I can get. Somewhere between 60, uh, you know, 70 and 80. Um, it'll probably cost $15 or so to ship. But uh, yeah, so there's value there. We'll definitely get that up. I had looked these up, uh, the last two items, the, uh, the yearbooks, 1956. Just wanted to go through this. 1956, George, Georgia Tech yearbook. Annual. Nothing active. Nothing sold. Well, here's a 1925, 1925. Those are obviously a lot older. There's a 1937. There's a 2004. 1958 on the other one. 
I know these are going to be long tail. Um, but this must have had a cover over it. 1958. Somebody has one listed for 75. Oh, did I have this? I have that price turned on. Let's see what they look like there. 75. Very fine. Let me show one picture. Okay, maybe it doesn't have a cover. They've just got a bad picture to it. Um, 75 eight dollars shipping. See if one sold. None have sold. I probably listed both of these at like thirty nine ninety nine maybe. Uh, with my nine dollar, I always charge nine dollar shipping on yearbooks. Um, these are older, so it shouldn't be a problem. So you can very easily see how, in less than an hours, my even including the amount of time it took me to record this video, um, you know, we're looking at probably sixty dollars profit on the uh, the ink, uh, probably twenty five ish um, or thirty on the calculator, um, probably twenty five or so on that. So sixty and fifty, one hundred ten, probably looking at about fifteen to eighteen profit on that, one hundred twenty five. These will these will take a good while to sh to, to sell the uh, the yearbooks. But I should make ten to fifteen dollars profit off of those. So maybe ten ten twelve dollars profit on that. I mean, we're at one hundred forty, one hundred fifty, one hundred sixty dollars profit, um, and not including the time to record this video. I've still got only I've got less than a half an hour's work into it. So will you make a hundred dollars every hour? No. Will you make a hundred dollars an hour every day? No. Can you? Yes. If you go out there and find the right items, find them at the right price, it's real easy to do. Um, so there's some footage after this. I recorded this um, as I came out of the thrift store. So go ahead and uh, continue watching, and I will show you uh, some of the same information um, on uh, on these items as I came out of the thrift store. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. Um, hit that like button, please, if you like this content. Um, it can be done. You can make good money doing this if you find the right items at the right price and list them at the right price. So uh, appreciate you stopping by and hope to see you again. Hey guys, apparently you uh, like what you saw on the thumbnail and decided to stop by. I appreciate it. Um, this is on a Thursday afternoon in the great state of Alabama. Um, New yard sales, estate sales today, but I did stop by one of my thrift stores here locally and picked up a few things. We're gonna see how fast these are gonna sell. Um, there's a, a wise man out there in YouTube world that says Sony sales, so I got some Sony stuff, got some HP stuff. Um, I spent $27, I believe, my receipt out. $27.50, so uh, let's, uh, let's see what this stuff is. Um, first item. Um, I don't know if you recognize that label or not. HP. There's the price tag. $3.99. You, a lot of people may pick that up and see a cracked screen. Um, it doesn't have a battery in it. This is an older model of calculator. It's almost a computer where you can program it. And a lot of people would probably walk by this because it has a cracked screen. Well, for parts, these sell for about $35 working they sell for upwards of a hundred um, it's got a memory expansion slot doesn't have anything in it I saw one that sold for over two hundred dollars it had some one piece of software with it though um, but somebody will buy this I think it just takes AAA batteries no corrosion so we'll uh, get home and check that out get that listed come with the case All right what's that in that's just a piece of tape yeah, nothing special. So I, I could get at least $35 for that, guaranteed. Uh, I hadn't checked any of this other stuff. This was an odd looking Polaroid. I hadn't seen this model before and I just grabbed it. It was only $2.99. And this may be a good one to do a cleaning on the white, um, on the white plastic. It is a Polaroid Land Camera Swinger Model 20. Just odd looking. I know the everyday ones aren't selling as well. Um, 
you put your uh, your film in there. Replace batteries every year, right date here. I've never messed with this mod this mod this model, but uh, two ninety nine. I think it was worth it. If you know anything about that one, uh, leave me a comment below, please. We'll leave the best thing for last. Um, here's a Sony. It is the um, micro cassette recorder M five seventy V. Uh, it had a tape in it, which is always a positive. The batteries, there was two AA batteries in it. They're probably dead. It was $2.99, which that should sell pretty quickly if I price it right, especially uh, since we're moved, coming up on uh, the beginning of the school year. Um, some people may recognize this brand, um, Audio-Technica. They make a lot of um, audio stuff, obviously by their name. Uh, they, I know they make needles for um, for record players, um, and that's why I noticed the name. Um, you might think that, hey, this doesn't have a power supply. How are you going to test it? I believe this is a, uh, the, the, it says Performance R80 wireless receiver. I believe it is a, um, I'm guessing that it is a wireless mic receiver. Um, the way I'll test it, that, uh, oh, that uh, port right there is for a standard computer power cord, which I have a ton at home. Uh, I haven't comped, it, comped this, but it is well worth the $399. Um, obviously, I won't be able to test full functionality, but I can test power on. Um, and th this thing looks like it's in really good shape. It's probably not something that would just go bad. So that, that shouldn't be bad. No resale value there, a little energy. It's a pretty cool little, uh, uh, it says a authentic original Disney parks. It's just a Disney mug. It's got Hollywood Tower Hotel, uh, the castle, Space Mountain. Just kind of neat. Just out of the kind of out of the ordinary. It's got the Walt Disney World on the inside. Really clean. It was ninety nine cents. And you're saying, wow, that doesn't this doesn't seem like a lot. But the big item to save the day. HP. I said at the beginning. HP toner, it does have a crush in the box. Now, don't buy these if they're even taped. I don't like buying ones that are taped. This is still sealed, and you'll always see an HP, um, like an authenticity. It's not a hologram, but it's you, if it gets broken, it actually changes, I believe. Um, look this one up, and they're going for about 90. Um, it was 399. So, uh, in the comments below, if you don't mind, go down there and leave me a message and uh, or a comment and tell me how quick you think each one of these items will sell. I'm, I'm going to make a promise. I'm going to get them home and list all of them today. Um, and everybody, I always put my store in the, uh, in the description so you can go keep up with it. Um, I think some of these things, the, the HP toner, I think, will sell $24.48 is my guess. Um, the little Sony... Uh, Sony uh, voice recorder, uh, video, uh, mini uh, micro cassette will probably, may take a week. I, I don't know. Um, if I price these things right, I should be able to move them quickly. But uh, definitely appreciate y'all watching this and uh, hope everybody has a good day.